What up, YouTube? Team Moose here. It's my segment where I talk about the film that turned 10 and 20 this week. Not really a lot, though. The film that is turning 10 is Iron Man 2. Which, of course, uh, was really... Like, the first Iron Man was the start of the MCU. But I feel like Iron Man 2 was the second start of uh, bringing the uh, characters together. Like, of course... Uh, the film teased, you know, Thor's hammer. It teased, uh, it featured um, Captain America's shield, and not to mention, uh, it gave us our, you know, debut of Scarlett Johansson as the uh, Black Widow, who, by the way, was supposed to be played by Emily Blunt at one point, but Scarlett Johansson ended up taking the role. We we had uh, Mickey Rourke as Whiplash, who I love Mickey Rourke in this role. I thought he was really cool. You know, this time around, you had uh, Don Cheetah replacing Terrence Howard. Iron Man 2 is actually, it gets, it does not get as much love, but I really got to get Iron Man 2. It's not as good as the first Iron Man, but it's still as fun, you know, really entertaining. I mean, Don Cheetah as, uh, you know, as a roadie is really cool there, too. Uh, of course, you had, uh, you know, likes of, like, Gwen Paltrow uh, back. You know, you had uh, Leslie Bibb, Sam Rockwell appear in this. Iron Man 2 is much better than people give credit for. Alright. Also turning 10, we got a film called Mother and Child, which is about, which is a drama that centers around three women. A 50-year-old woman, uh, the daughter she gave up for adoption 35 years ago, and a woman looking to adopt a child of her own. This stars the likes of Naomi Watts, Annette Benning, Sam Jackson, uh, Carrie Washington. Uh, Brett Robertson, Asipate DeMarcuson, uh, Cherry Jones is in this. This is actually a pretty nice little flick. Uh, really great cast, like, really, uh, great performances by Naomi Watts. Sam Jackson is really cool in this, too. So, yeah, if you guys haven't really seen Mother and Child, kind of a bit of an underrated little gem, but really decent flick. Alright. Now, the film that turns 20 is the Oscar-winning movie... Gladiator. Gladiator is... It's Gladiator. It's terrific. You know, Russell Crowe was really terrific. Uh, you've got uh, Joaquin Phoenix as a main villain in this. Uh, Connie Nielsen, the late great uh, Oliver Reed and Richard Harris, John Monhansu. You know, one of Ridley Scott's, you know, best and finest works he ever gave. If you've never really seen Gladiator, you're missing out. Gladiator is terrific. I mean, it won the it won an Oscar for a reason. It, of course, it won Best Picture, and it won Best Picture for a reason. Really magnificent film. And there wasn't really a whole lot of other films that turned 20 this week. But uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let me leave it to you guys. Which of these films stand out to you the most? Obviously, the 10-year one, I love Iron Man 2. 20-year one, I love Gladiator. But anyway, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Timu signing off.